welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the tree, so you might be dealing with some family issues uh, that need to be sorted out. Um, you need to make some plans as well, uh, so you're looking... Um, you know, you're reviewing the past and you're making plans for the future and this is how you're trying to sort out whatever issues you're dealing with on the family uh, front over there. So there might some be some kind of emotional issues that you're having to sort through uh, in order for you to, um, you know, overcome some obstacles or some problems that you're facing. You've got the sand card over here and this is about... It's always about time running out. You can see this is, um, you know, like an hourglass over there. So you're trying to sort the things that, um, you know, may, they may have been a situation that cannot be remedied, remedied. This plane is sunk in the sand over there. So there might be some kind of issue on that home front that you're dealing with, um, you know, that you need to just walk away from. Maybe you tried sorting it out and uh, there was no way in which you can save the situation you may need to just leave it and walk away so there are some issues that you're dealing with you may need to make new plans or you need to find uh, a new outlook uh, on how you how you want to deal with things right now uh, because it looks like uh, you know this is a situation that may not be able you may not be able to remedy um, you can see that plane is completely sunk uh, you know, it's crashed there. Uh, whatever that outcome is, uh, you know, you're going to just have to leave it and walk away. So uh, you've got the clouds over there here again, uh, having issues, and this is on the home front over here. You can see a lot of houses up in the air over there, uh, you know, and you're walking away from it. So maybe you have made up your mind. These are really big problems, uh, really big issues, uh, you know, and uh, maybe this is something that you really, uh, you know, don't have the energy to actually deal with. You've got the garden card over here. So this is about, uh, you know, trying to, um, you know, um, do things in a different way. This is about changing your outlook or looking for, um, you know, um, happiness or abundance somewhere else. Uh, you know, you can see there's a lot of lack or there's a lot of, uh, you know, hills that have got no, no trees on it. And then there's this, um, you know, oasis here. Uh, so looking for your emotional satisfaction or, or looking for love or, uh, you know, contentment somewhere else and going and starting off, um, you know, making up your own um, starting off uh, in your own oasis rather than relying on anybody else because it seems like whatever that situation is, it's not serving you. Uh, you know, it's causing too much of drama uh, and it's not, um, you know, you should, it's, it's something that you need to actually leave and move away because it's just something that cannot be resurrected, whatever this relationship or whatever this family issue is uh, that you're dealing with at the moment. Now, going into the future, you've got the tavern over there and you've got the moon card over there. So the tavern is about, uh, you know, making new friends, relying on friends that you, you have, um, you know, and um, getting a little bit of joy and happiness out of life. So don't get stuck in feeling depressed and unhappy. Um, the moon card is about doing things that are different, um, you know, rising above the situation. The moon is usually about lies or deceit or confusion or depression. And it, it might be that you need to rise above that situation and you will find support with friends or people that, um, you know, your tribe really. Uh, and it might not be the same people that are your family. So you might need to get that joy and happiness from people other than your family because it might be a family situation that you cannot remedy and it might be just um, you know better for you to just walk away make plans and do something completely different uh, you know uh, meet other people that are more in um, keeping with your belief system rather than um, trying to uh, be something that you're not so those are the energies for that week So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Tarot Lenormand. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Swords over here, and you can see this woman's really depressed. 
she's crying quite a bit. There's a uh, you know a broken rose over there. So you are very very upset about something that has happened. It's caused you a lot of stress. You might feel like you're very very stuck in the situation. You don't know really how to get out of it, and it's uh, causing a lot of anxiety and a lot of despair. Uh, and you're feeling very very lonely. You're looking at the past a lot, reviewing it, and you're crying quite a bit about it. So um, you know there's something that has happened. Uh, you've got a home in the back of there, so this could well be in the family situation over here. But you feel a sense of loss, and you feel of a sense of, maybe of betrayal as well. Um, you know, and you're very very unhappy about this as well. Maybe it was with somebody that you knew as a child. So this could be you know siblings or some kind of issue that you're dealing with from the past. Uh, but you're very very upset about it. Over there. Now you've got two cards that are quite interesting. You've got shining the lantern on things from the past and make you know looking at a telescope with things from the future. So the hermit is about uh, you know uh, looking at the past, reviewing the past, seeing all the experiences that you've learned, and taking that experience that you have, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself as well with that hermit card, but applying it and making plans for the future, which is the star card. So this is about making plans for that future, having hope for the future, and establishing yourself. Both these cards are using you know the past to make plans for the future. So getting, uh, you know, taking the lessons from the past, applying it to the present, and making plans for the future, and letting go of things that are negative and no longer serving you. There's been a, a change of your spiritual beliefs as well, it seems. Um, you know, this is about having a lot of hope with the stars, um, you know, and um, doing things your own way, really. So you are trying to overcome whatever this grief is that you're going through. And the card below it, is uh, you know the ten of pentacles so there's some kind of family situation some kind of home situation that has ended and you are looking back on it you're thinking about it quite a lot and you're very very unhappy about the whole situation these were events that you could not control because the card below that is the wheel so things came in uh, maybe you didn't expect it because this woman is blind or uh, blinded by this mask so you didn't see it coming uh, it was something to do with the home and now you've had to end that situation and it's depressed you quite a bit so now you have to take whatever you have, review that past uh, quite a lot with that hermit card, uh, maybe go within uh, and look for the answers, look for the truth, and then make your plans for the future. So what's going on in the past? You've had the Knight of Pentacles. You've been very, very focused on your career, on your work, and earning your money, and making, uh, you know, trying to move forward as far as your career goes. It looks like whatever the situation is, you've had to leave it behind. So something that was established, you've had to reprioritize on your work with that Two of Cups and move away. Um, so <clears throat> it seems like, um, you know, you've, um, you've actually taken, um, you know, made a decision and moved away from something that has no longer serving you. You are now focusing, if you have children, you might be focusing on your fam on your own immediate family, or you might be focusing on, uh, you know, uh, if you've had a separation or a breakup, you're now focusing on those children or focusing on something new. So your attention is now shifting onto the things that matter. You are deciding what is important to you and you're focusing on that, and that is how you're moving forward. And you are making plans for the future. So you're getting out of that depression or getting out of those um, issues that you were dealing with on the emotional front, and you are now starting to move forward. On your mind, you've got the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of things that you're considering, a lot of options. Now, you know, you've got a lot of these thoughts going through your head. Um, you know, uh, you need to research or think about things very carefully uh, before you pick one of them and then focus on that thing that you want um, most in your life. So you do need to prioritize as well. So the world card, this is about endings of old situations. So this could have been a divorce, a separation, uh, some kind of issue, you know, where there was, um, you know, maybe you were financially dependent on this particular person that you were involved in, and it seems like that cycle has come to an end. There's been a lot of lessons that have been learned, and these have been hard lessons, but it looks like that cycle is now finished. You will now start something brand new. Uh, whatever you have, uh, you've got, you know, you've been through, you've got to put it into the past and move forward. This could even be, uh, you know, maybe an ending of an old job as well. So there's some kind of uh, financial um, 
severing or you know cutting off that financial tie to that particular person now the world card also brings in money as well so this could have been there could be even some kind of financial payoff that comes with that world card whatever you've gone through um, you know it's changed you quite a bit you have uh, you know maybe matured quite a bit after going through all these difficulties as well so even though you're still going or trying to deal with things you are starting or you will start to see things uh, more clearly now you've got that six of pentacles over there. So this is about a generosity, people giving you, uh, you know, the help, a financial help if you need it. This is about you also stretching yourself too thinly as well. So make sure that you're not giving too much of yourself. Uh, you know, keep a, uh, um, a tight rein on your finances, but also don't give too much of yourself away to people. Uh, make sure you're keeping enough for yourself um, because you don't want people to be taking advantage of you as well. But if you have any kind of financial need, it looks like somebody is going to be coming in and giving you uh, that help. So if there's, uh, you know, a, a divorce or something that you went through, it looks like there also will be a financial payoff as well that comes in uh, with that. Now you've got the four of pentacles, so you are going to be able to establish security and independence. Um, the four of pentacles, it is watching your finances. You do need to do that, but it also is a card of financial security and stability. And she's holding uh, this cornucopia full of roses, so things are going to be coming your way, and you will get that abundance that will come your way. So whatever this money is that comes in over here, it's going to make you quite financially secure. Now, you've got the Emperor card over there. It looks like you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in over there uh, with the Emperor card so that you can get a grip of that finances as well. So you are very worried about your resources. Now, going to the future, this is an excellent card because it follows the world card. So whatever that cycle is, it's finished and done with. And you are now going to be moving on. There was a lot of loss. You went through a lot of problems. Uh, you can see this man's got nothing left, really. Uh, so you're taking whatever you have and you're moving on. Um, and you can see even here with that two of uh, cups, taking whatever you had and moving on. And then you've got the judgment card of here. So being at the fork of the, in the road, making the decision and leaving the past behind and moving forward. So whatever you're going to do, whatever new venture you're going to be doing is going to be successful. Uh, you have all the facts and figures, everything you need to make a decision to move forward. So it's, it's time to bury the, the past <coughs> and rise above the situation. And you're being called upon to do that. And you've got the three of wands, so doors will open for you. Solutions will come to any kind of problems. You can see these doors are opening. You have the keys in your hands. So there will be people that come and help you, and you will be able to move forward, um, and doors will open for you. So you will get out of the situation, and then it looks like whatever that, uh, you know, whatever judgment you're waiting for, it looks like it will bring in money. But it's going to allow you to start off a new cycle. So whatever issues you're dealing with, uh, you know, you will be able to overcome this. So, you've got the judgment card appearing twice over there, renewal, it's about, uh, it's time to get clarity about your life's purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what is to come. So this is a brand new beginning, a brand new start, you need to let go of that past and move forward. And you've got the Emperor card over here, so the judgment is coming for you. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role. You have much wisdom to offer. So you have learned a lot from the situation. Uh, this is also a card about a judgment coming for you, and that will be something that is successful. That news comes in as well. It's an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. Um, if helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So this information of the judgment is coming in quickly. So there is that legal decision that is going to come in that's going to get help you get closure and move on. So once this legal decision comes in, you will make a decision and it seems like you will move on. And new, new doors will open for you. Uh, and, um, you know, you will make a brand new start. So getting closure, a brand new start, but it was also means more stability, uh, more independence coming in for you. You will get money that comes in. There looks like there will be some kind of payoff, but you are making a brand new start, starting afresh somewhere else. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be something that's going to be successful. It starts you off on a new journey. Um, and so endings of cycles and begins of brand new journeys that come in for you. And uh, you've learned a lot. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there is, there will be success that comes in for you over there. Lots of doors will open for you soon. 
So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take